Hey guys, welcome back. Trip and Farm for Property. It's me, your host, Trip Coach. Let's jump right into it. So this is a walk and talk video following up on the AMA that I did with Hustle and Matt about four hours ago. And I'm not gonna like do any clips and point to anything in the AMA, but I am gonna talk about some of the information. So as of this video, you will really have about 24 hours before Viper X launches and Matt clarified uh, the mechanics on it as well as kind of his reason behind why they're doing it. So the TLDR is one, it'll launch in 24 hours from this video. That'll be Thursday around lunchtime Eastern. And number two is his uh, reason for all these changes that they've made. So as I mentioned last video, um, yeah, we've seen negative price action, but he kind of explained that in a way that the way that they geared this Drip X um, modification of Titan X was to have positive price appreciation in the charts. And of course, that meant all of that liquidity and price appreciation, someone or some ones were gonna be able to sell that off. So as of now, they have been modifying the buy and burns and trying to find equilibrium. So if you do the math, you'll find out that right now, at today's average price of $400 a BNB, they are burning about 37 and a half billion Drip X tokens each day. Now remember, they have now set the cap at 40 billion that can be unlocked from the miners each day. There are still some that are over that amount, of course, but he said that this is the sweet spot that they're trying to do. I think it's five zeros and a three, five zeros, three, one. That's the price of Drip X and they're trying to stabilize and find that floor. And then with the new incentives from ViperX, where at 51% on your miner, you will be able to hit a little tab at the top where you're managing your miners and it will say um, Viper, Viper. And from there you will pay, it'll show you all the stakes that are eligible. So it doesn't have to be exactly 51%, it's 51% and over. So if you got in on day one and you have a 15 day stake or 16 day stake, 17 day stake, by the time this launches, you will more than likely be eligible to early in the stake, but there's no penalty for that. You're actually, the analogy I gave in it is kind of like paying for Prime with Amazon. You were gonna get your package regardless, but you wanted it early, so you paid the extra fee for next day. This is the same thing. You're gonna be paying 0.1 BNB regardless of how much the miner was worth, how much you put in, 0.1 BNB to early terminate that miner, and then it will automatically go into the staking pool at the 3,500 day max stake. So again, shouts out to the team for what they're trying to do. And um, the way that he set this up and he clarified this multiple times, and I addressed this because there was comments and questions in the chat as well as on my other videos about how to make this attractive basically for the small bag holder. Because right now the chart looks ugly and it just looks like small fish get wrecked in our exit liquidity. So straight from the horse's mouth, Matt said that it's all about mining. So they're gonna be making adjustments to the protocol and tweaking things so that miners become attractive. And that will be the name of the game to get your DripX tokens. Versus right now it being advantageous to buy DripX off the market and maybe pump and dump or flip at slight pumps in the chart, that will not be the long-term play. So as of this stage, if you're already in from day one and you're not happy with the performance, I would say just ride it out because they do have plans to make this long-term sustainable. So the other, not so much alpha that he mentioned, but um, some insight is that they are looking at kind of an NFT trading platform so that you can see more insights on your NFT. So on Tofu, I think it's tofu.net, I don't remember, but that's the trading place for your miners and your stakes. And then there is an info tab that will say what your actual D rank is. So that lets people know kind of what the value is. So right now it doesn't look good, but since they have these goals to make the platform more sustainable long-term, 
then that means any of you that got in early were able to get cheap miners. And remember, the difficulty literally increases every day. So your miner can, what you paid, can be worth twice as much in just a couple days or months, so to speak, because the difficulty is increasing to mine the actual DripX token. At the end of this whole thing, the uh, max difficulty is 10 BNB to buy a max miner. So it's gonna go up 10X in difficulty. So I guess it's basically like 1X a year, roughly. So I wouldn't uh, stress too much about it. I know some people I saw in my comments were like, yeah, they got out. They didn't like what they saw. I get it. But um, for me, I'm just gonna kind of play the game as planned. And since miners is, is the strategy, um, the next goal for me, I don't want to put any more capital in. So whenever I get my BNB payouts on the eight and 28 day cycle, I will look at, uh, recycling that back into mining. So maybe like 80% of that goes into mining, 20% trying to recoup for ROI. So this is not a quick flip, but Matt also said in his, in the AMA that his goal is to basically make 30 day miners and beyond profitable. So trying to give people a perspective to mine at least for 30 days plus. So I think as of right now, it was 30, 40%, 50%, something like that. Or no, I think it was 100% ROI at the 30 day mark with a max miner. So that was dashboard divs, of course, but based off of what he's saying, what they're trying to do in the system and some of the other stuff they have planned that they haven't even released yet, to make this more sustainable, we'll try to keep it that way. Plus, don't forget, uh, Bitcoin is on a tear and BNB has found a new temporary price for around $400. So we may see, I listened to Plan B today, Plan B, Kathy Wood and um, Michael Saylor, and they were talking about there may be 30% swings in the chart. So we may see some price volatility, but uh, for now, uh, the Bitcoin, I'm sorry, the bull run is officially underway. So some people say it has a, takes after the halving, but the fact that we already passed all time highs, tagged them and passed them a little bit. Um, we can officially say according to plan B, someone far smarter than me, but stock the flow model, uh, says we are in the bull run. So that means for me just to play this out and see what happens rather than cashing out at the bottom. So, uh, check out the AMA by the time you see this video and then pay attention to the charts and stuff like that once Viper launches. And keep your eyes on DripX because again, the team is constantly innovating and adding value to the ecosystem. So that's all I got. Smash that HPL special, help a brother out, like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real-world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.